Welcome to Leeds Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, congratulations to the New Orleans Saints uh, winning the Super Bowl. I was pulling for you guys. It was great to see you win. Um, not that I don't like the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, i kind of, you know, indifferent to whether I like them or not. But I definitely don't hate them, that's for sure. They were just, of the four teams left over, they were the team I liked the least. So anyway, and I really want to see New Orleans win the Super Bowl. Uh, the past few years especially. Even though my Vikings should have been in it. But <clears throat> it's hard to win a game when you turn over the ball that many times. Alright, so uh, let's get into uh, the show. All this week uh, we're going to have wines uh, from a distributor that was kind enough to uh, reach out to me uh, to do a, a, a live Twitter taste that unfortunately my schedule was uh, not didn't allow me to do, even though I had requested to be able to do it. Um, we had some issues on the day gig that it would, prevented me from doing it. Um, so the wine, uh, John Stone uh, sent these wines to me, uh, and it's from uh, from a uh, wine shop called The Vines of Mendoza. They're an online uh, wine shop. I'll have the link below so you can uh, check them out, and also specific links for the wines and. Uh, all that great stuff. And uh, also, if you were watching the Super Bowl yesterday or you are watching my tweets or whatever, um, the uh, other halftime show.org, they did their deal. Yes, I wasn't there or no, I wasn't there. <laughs> um, so, But I was at home watching the game and I checked them out and they had a great time and they were really good and uh, wish all the best for them. So let's get into it. Um, we have, uh, and all these wines, by the way, uh, for all this week are, are made by Walter uh He's, it's either Brescia or Brescia. Um, he's a uh, very well-known winemaker in Argentina. Argentina. So we are going to start with um, the Brescia. Uh, <laughs> it's the 2007 Brescia Monte Allegro. See, I said it wrong, and I tried to practice it because I because my brain is works in stupid ways <laughs> because I'm on camera now I can't say this thing right um, Monte Grelo how about that Monte Grelo uh, is from the Mendoza region of Argentina uh, is a 100% Syrah um, this retails for $30 and um, so now let's get serious and all that uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go over a couple things real quick uh, carefully, I'm just going to read the winemaking notes uh, that it was sent to me. Uh, the Syrah was carefully produced according to Brescia's exacting standards. The grapes come from vines planted at 930 to 970 meters. Um, so we're, we're getting close to about 2,700 feet. Um, just quick, you know, conversion because it's about three times. Um, 6,900 6, plants for hectare. Uh, wine was aged for 15 months in French and American oak barrels. All right, so so and and, and these are all pretty serious wines. Uh, actually, I think this is the this is the most inexpensive of the three wines that uh, were sent to me. So uh, let's check them out. I'm really been hoping to try these out, and I wanted to spend a have time to do it because if you notice, the last few reviews have been like after work. I get home as soon as I get home, open a bottle of wine. So I wanted to give these wines a little bit of uh, justice instead of just like a quick little review. On the nose, it's, it's right now it's kind of sweet. Though it's changing a bit, which it should, which I'm glad to see. I'm getting a little more spiciness to it. And a little bit of smoke, almost like um like a like like smoke bomb to it. 
So a, a slight bit of pungency, but not like it's like makes you your 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 nose crinkle up. But yeah, I'm getting more of that smokiness to it now, and then so the sweetness has kind of faded away. Let's see how it tastes. That's interesting. Let's do this real quick. That's real interesting. Dusty, dirty. Um, I don't know if it's the oak, but I feel like I actually did like bite on the actual tree bark, which is interesting to me because I don't get that very often from wines, even though I know there's lots of wines that are heavily oaked. I mean, it's 15 months in oak, and I don't find it unpleasant. Um, I, I guess it's just different, and I, I, I kind of like it. But I'm also getting some sweetness now. Um, I'm starting to taste like the fruits, and it's it's like 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 light berries, a little bit of dark berries. I'm almost almost like a a blackberry type of of component to it. And now the flavors are calming down a bit. Like I don't feel like I, I really bit into the bit into a tree as much. Seems like it's a little more balanced now. Um, it could be I'm just getting used to it. So I've never experienced that to that extreme. Um, but you still get the dustiness. Now it's starting to become a little fruitier. Wow, that was really quick. Um, yeah, these are probably not going to be eight, ten, nine, ten minute episodes. They're probably going to be closer to twelve. Um, it's getting really tasty now. This is good. I'd probably put it in the 91 point range. It's got some earthiness to it, a little bit of dust. But you've got some sweetness to it. So you've got this balance of, of the fruit with kind of that that dusty, dirty, you know, earthiness to it. Um, I think the wood is now calmed down. Maybe it was just because it just needed to open up a little more and uh, aerate some more. A little bit of... It's kind of spicy, but it's more on the nose. Let's see if the nose has changed. Not really. Um, still get that smokiness to it. This is a good wine. I mean, definitely you want to pair this with food. Um, I probably wouldn't drink this on its own. Uh, it needs to go with something. Um, you could probably put it with some nice cheeses to it. Um, definitely some beef. Uh, I had this, um, you know, I probably would have liked to have had this with uh, this uh, short rib, this beef short rib I had last night. Not last night, Friday night. Um, at a re local restaurant, by the way, I'll give them a little little plug, uh, Auden's Kitchen. I had some great wines there too. Uh, and the wine I did have was pretty good too, but I think this probably would have gotten much better with that. Um, it has some mashed potatoes and this sauerkraut. It's like apple and bacon, which I'm not really a hugely a sauerkraut fan, but it worked out really well. Um, and the dessert was also phenomenal that I had. Um, but uh, more about this wine. I, you definitely like, like ribs. Uh, they don't have to be like like heavily doused in barbecue sauce, you know, just like a grilled meat type of thing. Um, yeah, not like not like talking like your traditional barbecue with you know bar, you know loads of barbecue sauce, but just grilled meats work well with that. Cool. Check out the links below. Um, check out all the others. You know, I've, I've 
got new ads here and there. Check them out. You know, maybe you'll find something you like. I got my Think Geek stuff finally up. I've, I've became a member of the affiliate program actually about a month ago, and I forgot to put the link up. So I got that up now. Got you know swag, which I'm going to work on some more. Hopefully, in the next few weeks, get some more stuff and get some more uh, logoed material up. Um, let's see what else. What else? Uh, Society of Wine Educators. I've set up my uh, or I've, I've started the process of getting ready to take their test in June. Uh, hopefully, the Court of Master Sommeliers will have, or the American version of them, will have their rest of their schedule up this week. They said the, they said the week of the 8th, so that's today. So hopefully they'll have the rest of their schedule. I can figure out when I'm going to take that test. Um, that's it. Hopefully I'll have some more Skype interviews coming up. We'll see everybody again next time.